Okay, friends. This one's probably not... I think the video quality might be a little tricky because um, I'm in Tennessee and we drove like all night last night so I'm exhausted. Um, but I wanted, didn't want to miss a video of um, advocating for our kids in Liberia. So we got a... We've been sending letters. You guys have been sending letters and we got a response from the U.S. Embassy in Liberia. Um... Because we've been sending letters to the Cong Congress and our Congressperson, um, Don Byron's office, sent a congressional inquiry and actually got an got an answer, and they forwarded us today. And you know, like we read it, and I have no problem reading it here or forwarding it to whoever might want it. We checked, talked to our agency about some of the content of the letter as well. Um, and I don't want to throw stones again at where I've already thrown stones at them not doing their job well. I just want to say that, again, the evil powers that are trying to hold our kids hostage um, in Liberia and the evil intent for their future is, is just, needs to just take a seat because we're going to go get these kids. Um, we're going to finish their adoption and to the best of our ability. But, like, this isn't some of their answers were you know things as trivial as like oh the roads aren't paved in Liberia so it takes a long time to get these um, visa applications done but it's really an immigration application it doesn't have anything to do with the visa um, they're talking about visa fraud in Liberia and trafficking in Liberia these kids are not being trafficked um, they're not capable of committing fraud themselves and the Liberian government has a good um good system for their adoption so like we need to let them do their job you know three years ago five years ago six years ago they've been doing Liberian adoptions out of out of that country and usually take you know two to four weeks maybe five weeks total to get everything done and signed off on and be home and the roads are more paved now than they were five years ago so for them to send us a letter and be like oh the infrastructure in Liberia can't support all these adoptions but like they have decreased the number of adoptions annually, very significant amount that we know about, like between 10 and 25 kids a year to like three last year, um, three families last year getting pushed through. So, you know, in Jesus name, we ask um, for this to be over. Um, in Jesus name, we ask for these kids to have freedom and we ask for them to have um, happiness and health and a future. And we're not going to, you know, I mean, it was just, I don't know how to, how to, I don't really, I don't know if I want to dignify with an answer, a letter that's like, oh, well, most of the roads aren't paved. It takes longer to reinvestigate these things. And. I'm like, that's my file has been sitting waiting for investigation since November of 2022. You're telling me that you couldn't find a way to finish paving, like roads paved or not. The Ministry of Gender can't finish my paperwork and the U.S. Embassy can't sign off on it in 14 like months. Like what? You need me to come pave a road? I'll pave a road. But it's just not true. So um, we got to visit with some friends tonight that were born in Liberia, that are adoptees in Liberia. And it was just, it, I mean, and they know our kids that we're adopting, you know, because our friends are close and they lived in the same orphanage. And it was just nice to see them. Um, it was just good to see them. Uh, just to see them as people, just to see their, their life playing out here in the United States. Their family that loves them, the highs and lows that they've had, the things that they're learning to do. It's just heartwarming in a way that I can't describe. But in a way that I want for my kids too. So if you want to give a tax deductible donation to our adoption, as always, you can click the link. If you want to give a tax deductible donation to about one, two, three, four, five, seven more other families we know of. Um, including our, and those are families, some of them are matched, some are unmatched. We know for sure there are seven families that are matched that are, um, 
in limbo like we are where they're everything that they can do on their end is completely done and we're just waiting on government officials both in Liberia and the US to just do their job so hope you guys have a good night sorry this video is coming in late um, but I'm committed to doing one every day so thanks guys